Alright, what up YouTube here? I'm back. It's been a while since I've did uh, one of my last updates here, for sure. And I thought I'd do a little uh, uh, Blu-ray Blu review, kind of slash, uh, you know, pick up to what I got over the past couple weeks. It's probably been since I did my last one, that's for sure. Um, so I went to Whorehound. Uh... I went, to, I went to Whorehound Weekend a couple week, uh, about a week and a half ago now, and uh, I picked up a couple Blu-rays uh, from Synapse Film. I picked up, uh, first of all, I picked up uh, Phenom, or Phenomena, Phenomena, I, I don't know, well, Creepers, all right, Creepers, <laughs> U.S. title. Uh, I picked up the Steelbook, and it is very nice. Uh and uh, this was actually a blind, uh, bl blind buy. Um, I never seen it before. I did watch it. I did like it for the most part. I have maybe a few small problems with it, but I did like it. I got to rewatch it though. You know, and again, you know, get it a, a second time around. Argento stuff just kind of, you know, it just pops out at you sometimes, and you're just like, well, what the hell did I just see? So I just kind of want to rewatch it again. Uh, Steelbook is nice. You know, showing that a little bit. Um, inside, you get uh, you get three discs. You get a uh, two Blu-ray and a uh, and this. Uh, you actually get a compact disc, so you get the soundtrack. And there's a soundtrack disc. Um, here's disc one. This kind of has the the. Uh, regular version and then uh, the US cut creepers version uh, of this right here that's pretty nice uh, big here and, and a, a nice booklet uh, that went with it that's for sure uh, that's the product catalog this is the booklet actually it has a, a compact listings on it the track listings for it nice production notes linear notes for sure nice nice booklet very nice not sure and then another blu-ray disc with special features this also has i think it has a nice documentary on it um uh, yeah i don't i don't quite remember what the documentary was i think it was uh, just kind of about his uh early see his early um uh, movies uh, yeah I'm pretty sure it's about like his early movies I forget what it was called exactly but I did like this movie it was pretty good for the most part yeah I think you know they talk about Pi Suspiria Inferno and everything else uh i haven't watched it yet but i can't wait to watch it here's uh what the inside looks like and i also this has actually been out for a while but yeah i just finally you know i was at whorehound and i saw it and i'm like you know what i've been i've heard some pretty good things about the movie and i just figured up the profit you know buy it screw it you know i wasn't really getting as many as autographs i thought i was gonna get maybe at um whorehound for sure so I was like, screw it, you know, I'm here, and it's in hand, and they had it there, and I was like, screw it, you know, better than trying to get it shipped, and then maybe damage the steelbook and everything, but yeah, very nice addition, I look forward to checking more things out of it, because I haven't, uh, I just watched the movie, I didn't check out the features of that yet, and then I got Baskin, um, I haven't watched this yet, so I don't know if it's any good but you know it's only 15 bucks and um i heard it was okay um i may not like this one a whole lot maybe because it kind of it seems like it has a hellraiser vibe to it and i'm not the biggest hellraiser fan um so i can't wait to check it out though i will eventually it's in, it's in kind of a weird week and a half lately going on in, in my life, but, uh, yeah, I, I definitely can't wait to check this out, it, it looks pretty good, um, from IMC Midnight and, uh, Scream Factory put it out, so I, I'm pretty sure it'll at least be something that I'll somewhat enjoy, 
And then uh, through the mail, I got Robocop 2 from uh, Scream Factory, Shout Factory. Um, I did watch this. I thought the, the scan was nice. And uh, I had uh, some nice special features on this for sure. Um, you know, it comes with the irreversible uh, artwork stuff on the inside here and it has some nice bonus features which I like you know it has new corporate wars the making of Robocop 2 machine parts uh, special effects Robocop 2 uh, new robo fabricator and I did watch most of these and they're uh, the, of these uh, special features and it's pretty they're pretty good I didn't watch the OCP declassify which is kind of like um, archive uh, interviews and uh, yeah, I didn't watch that one yet, but it looked like it had, you know, Peter Weller doing uh, older interviews and uh, uh, Irvin Kirshner. Um, but yeah, I've, I've always liked RoboCop 2. Yeah, I know RoboCop 3 came out, but I just, I couldn't see spending like over 20 bucks for that movie. I just, ugh, that movie's so bad. And I like Fred Deeker too, you know, he did Nine of the Creeps and... Uh, Night of the Creeps and Monster Squad, and I just, I just couldn't pull the trigger on that three because that one's so bad. I just, I remember it not being that good. Maybe down the line, if I see it for cheaper or deal on it, maybe I'll pick it up then. But now, nah, not for like over twenty bucks. And then today I went to, today I went to Best Buy and, and Target, and I picked up some uh, newer ones. I got uh. The original Ghost in the Shell. I haven't watched this yet. Just I just bought it mere hours ago, but I I really want to check this out because I'm hearing some. I you know I've heard it's good and I'm, I'm kind of anticipating the new movie too. I kind of want to see the new movie uh, with uh, Scarlett Johansson, and uh, so I want to check this out. Hopefully I'll check this out first and go see the movie. Um, I don't know too much about it, but, you know, it looks awesome, and it's short, you know, it's only like 82 minutes, so it can't be that boring, uh, at least I don't think so. I mean, from the back cover, it looks really interesting. I might actually watch this after I upload this video um, to check it out, so I, I do like it, or I don't know if I like it yet, I should say, but I do like um what's represented on the cover and i got uh patriots day with uh marky mark uh in it and i did like Deepwater Horizon. i haven't bought that yet and same director make this peter berg and you know they've been making some pretty good movies and i just decided to buy it you know because uh, i got it for a pretty good deal so i decided to um blind buy oh i i think it'll be good and, you know it's kind of about the boston marathon bombers so um and they, they did a really good job on Deepwater Horizon. I, I, I've been meaning to buy that. And I eventually will pick it up when I <clears throat> maybe see it a little bit cheaper. Since it's a little bit an older release, I can get it you know, a little bit on the cheap. Um, yeah, it's funny, you know, Peter Berg, you know, he directed Lone Survivor, this, and Deepwater Horizon. He's directed some really great movies. And uh, it's just funny, you know, he's in, like, one of my favorite, like, uh, uh, you know, he acted in, in Shocker. I really like uh, Shocker Light, Shocker Light, oh, it's Craven movie. I like that one a lot, and uh, it's just funny. Now he's just this big-time director, you know, going from Shocker to being a huge big-time director now, uh, directing, you know, with Mark Wahlberg. And last, in the mail today, I got the Wishmaster Collection from Vestron Video. I just got done watching the Wishmaster. It looked really good, uh, the skin and everything. And there is plenty of special features on this for sure. And I, I watched one. I watched the Jin and Alexandra, which is the, the two main characters, kind of interview. And it was it was pretty good uh, for the most part. But, man, there's plenty. There's, like, audio commentaries. There's two of them with Kurtzman, the director, and screenwriter Peter Atkins. And then they got another one with Kurtzman and then... Uh, uh, the two stars, Andrew uh, um, Duvall and Tammy Lauren, the two stars in the movie. Tons of feature routes, like Out of the Bottle, Magic the Magic Word, Captured Vision, Wish List, a vintage feature, uh, trailer spots, galleries. I mean, I read tons of shit. So Vestron, I'll admit, they, they, they went all out on the first movie. The second, third, and fourth. 
pretty much just have commentaries and then like a vintage featurette, which is, you know, fine, you know. It's not like they're have a whole maybe a whole lot to put into the the other three movies i mean you know commentaries on all of them so that's cool enough uh for sure the only thing that i'm kind of like uh pissed off about it doesn't make any sense they made all the discs the same they're all they're the same but besides putting disc two and disc three that don't make any sense why didn't you just put you know, why don't you just do separate artwork for each one? You know, just even the posters for the original one. You did that with waxwork. So, I, I don't know if that's minor, but, I mean, that's what I'm kind of just, you know, pissed off about. I don't seem to make any sense. So, like, I go to grab a disc and I'm like, well, which, which freaking movie am I grabbing? I mean, as far as I know, you know, disc one's the full movie, first one, the second one's the second, and then three and four are on this three and four probably i just don't get why they just didn't put separate artwork on them it's just weird and it don't make any sense unless they just didn't have rights to the other pitch the the photos maybe i i don't know why because i'm sure Lionsgate own it so that that's you know i i don't know if that's minor but that's what i just kind of don't get um because you know they did it with wax work they put you know, just one's, you know, different artwork, and this two is a different artwork, so, I don't get why they did that, um, I don't know if that's minor, but, I guess, you know, that's what I'm just kind of peeving about, but, you know, that's my update, uh, you know, if you like that, uh, hit the, the like button, and, uh, subscribe if you want to, I'd, I'd appreciate it, um, thanks for watching.